Hey guys, Prilogy here. In this video, we're going to analyze Apple's website from a UI UX perspective. Now, let's get started with the very first part, which uh, of course is uh, how clean this website looks. Now, this is one of those uh, staple websites, uh, meaning that uh, it's uh, one of the top ones that uh, usually people use for inspiration, and uh, they really set the standard for high quality designs. But let's examine exactly why is that. So as you can see on the top, uh, we have a header which is very minimal, but yet very clean. This is going to be adapted very easily also on uh, smaller devices such as tablet. So as you can see, we have the logo on the very top left uh, and then the various uh, text uh, items which are going to redirect uh, to their product. As you can see, the entire website is entirely focused on the products and uh, this is really something which uh, makes it easy to navigate since uh, over here we have for example the mac the ipad iphones and so on and uh, they are in my opinion in order of the best selling so as you can see the macs and the ipads or in the, in the iPhones or probably their top products. So they're basically in an order which is not uh, casual. So always think about these things, especially considering the fact that uh, in uh, UX, uh, this uh, top and left section is going to be the one which, which is going to catch the eye at most, while this bottom section right here is going to be the one which uh, users are going to see as the last part. Now, when it comes to the main uh, header section, you can see that uh, there's a lot uh, of real estate given to the main uh, product uh, of uh, the week or the month, uh, and that is uh, in this case the iPad Pro. But let's examine exactly why this is so effective. Now, first of all, the typeface, uh, both of the headline and also the subheadline are quite big, as well as the call to action. So this is going to increase uh, usability and just make it very, very clear as to what the product is and uh, also the call to actions to buy or learn more. And uh, of course, we have this uh, beautiful 3D illustrator image of the iPad Pro and uh, generally speaking it's very minimal and very straight uh, forward and straight to the point. So simplicity at its best as Apple knows. And as we scroll down we can see different uh, other uh, products and uh, they're all using pretty much the same layout. Uh, here they're breaking it a little bit with this uh, two columns grid uh, and uh, I assume, again, since uh, these are the top products uh, that they want to push at the moment. So as you can see, we have the iPad Pro, the iPhone and the iMac. And then um, maybe they don't want to give as much emphasis to this element right here, the privacy on the phone and the iWatch. Basically, they're, they're dividing them into two separate columns. And uh, the same is true also for these ones. Now, of course, they stand out and they really like how they're using the full width of the uh, browser in order to really make these images and uh, these concepts stand out. And uh, overall, it's uh, very clear, very focused, uh, very bold and uh, in your face, uh, and uh, it just works. So as we click on, for example, the iPad Pro, you can see that we're going to be redirected to the page uh, which is dedicated to this specific product. So again, very bold. We just have a headline and a very short subheadline. So nothing that takes a lot to read. It's not over overwhelming and it's aesthetically very pleasing since we have this uh, nice illustration which complements uh, this concept uh, that they are essentially uh, communicating. And as we scroll down, we have this amazing animation which uh, really brings us uh, into the experience on a completely different level. Uh, this is really just great, uh, great design. And uh, uh, as you can see, I can also scroll back. Uh, so the animation works uh, both of moving forward and also going backwards. And um, overall, it just adds uh, for an experience. Oh, of course, you cannot do this uh, in uh, every single site. It really depends on the type of product which you're creating and uh, the type of goal that your client has. But overall, it's definitely a really cool 
um, interesting uh, transition which you can uh, consider at times and as we scroll more down uh, we're going to see pretty much more details and uh, more elements which are going to be uh, useful to evaluate the purchase potentially of this product. So overall, the major takeaways of the Apple website is the simplicity and how bold and uh, clear it is. Just overall, it's just a great example of uh, great UI and UX uh, together with uh, some uh, really cool animations and visual and 3D design. Everything is uh, very on the spot. And as you can see, like the, the this website is very long because it's going to, or, or this page, uh, specifically because they're essentially trying to communicate all of the different concepts but in a non-linear way so not the classic uh, boring spec shift where basically you're going to see all of the elements right there and as you can see as we scroll more down uh, I really like how the entire theme changes so from uh, black to, to white and uh, this just gives a, a layer of dimension and uh, uh, makes it more varied and more interesting uh, overall, visually speaking. So this is uh, pretty much it for this uh, analysis. We're going to go more in depth into other elements of UI UX design and moving forward. And by the way, I want to remind you that I have a free UI UX design course, which I recently just launched. And uh, you can find the link in the description. So if you're interested in getting started in uh, this field, uh, feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.